Hey, it is so good to have you here. I look forward to our book club meetings all month and I just want to say I'm so glad that we decided to go ahead and do the book club even though it's just the two of us. I've been really enjoying this one-on-one -on -one time with you. It's really been wonderful. Um, so I think we're all set up. Are you comfortable? Okay, great. Um, yeah, you have your tea. I have my tea. I have my book. You have your book. And wow, that's that your copy? Um, that is, that looks really different than the one that I picked up. It must be a different edition. Can I, is it okay if I look at it? Okay. So you got the Evening and the Morning by Kim Follett. Huh. Um, you know what? <sighs> so, <laughs> this is, this is embarrassing, but, um, I must have read something wrong, uh, I don't know if there was like one little letter transposed or or something when I was looking at the title, but th this um, this is not what I read this month. I'm uh, here. Let me get this back. So the book that I read this month was uh, right here. It's Clinical Neuroanatomy and Neuroscience, fifth edition. Um, I don't. I don't know how that happened. Um, you know what? So many of our texts back and forth over the past month make so much more sense now. Um, I mean, you kept talking about like what an exciting adventure and layers to the story. And like, I, I agree. I mean, this was really a gripping read, but some of the things you were talking about didn't. Um, Hmm. Okay, so we're in a little bit of a pickle here. Um, I guess since you read that book clearly and I read a completely different book, that changes what we're going to be able to do during our book club meeting today. Oh, I had so many good questions planned out. Uh, there are a couple discussion topics that I thought we were really going to dig into and, you know, I, I had even just, um, you know, I felt pretty confident about everything I read uh, and, you know, really understanding it. Uh, so I'd even grabbed some supplies. I thought that maybe, you know, we could just do a little casual, friendly brain surgery. I thought I could just maybe open up your skull. And... <laughs> no, no, that's, that's ridiculous. I'm totally kidding. Unless, would that, would that be something you, like, might be into? Because I, like, no pressure or anything. I'm obviously not a professional. I did read the whole book, every page. Um, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about uh, my comprehension of everything I read. So if you're cool with it, I would, I would so, so so love if I could just, you know, maybe take the lid off there and poke around a little bit. Would that be okay? Oh my god. Okay. All right. Super exciting. So you really don't need to do anything. Um, let me make sure I have everything I need here. You just sit back. Um, maybe don't try, try not to move too much. Uh, I have, let's see, I've got my, my tea right here. I've got the book. Um, I'll make sure that I'm referencing stuff without, uh, throughout the whole thing so that I'm not, so I'm totally sure about everything I'm doing. So I've got some gloves on hand. I've got, um, I have an extra mug 
here um, in case we need to like store any pieces while I'm working on it. Let's up. Uh, let's just dive. Let's just dive right in. It's the best way, right? Let's not drag this out too far. So, if I'm remembering correctly, okay. So before I really get in there, um, I think the best thing to do. So I think the best thing to do is going to be for me to give you like a little scalp massage. Um, let's see how are we doing on time. Oh yeah, yeah. I think we have plenty of time to do a, a nice little scalp massage before the uh, before the actual surgery itself. Um, so if it's all right with you, I'm just gonna go ahead and place my hand on your scalp, both sides, and just kind of gently. There we go. Yeah, kind of starting at the temples right there. There we go. On, let me move my stuff so I can get nice and close. Put this here. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, I'm just gonna do a little gentle massage. That way when I go to get in there, the top will just, you know, pop off nice and easy. Okay. Actually, is it okay if I go around and, like, get behind you to do this part? Okay, cool. Just hang in there, and then I'm going to... Alright, I'm gonna get my fingers right in there and just... Massage the whole scalp. Starting over here. Relax. Feel all the little muscles in your scalp. Relaxing beneath my fingers. Now, 
I'd like you to sit really still for this part. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop the lid there and I'll make sure I'll place it uh, safely right over there. So uh, I locked the cat out of the room, so I don't know if you heard that scratching earlier. But yeah, then you don't have to worry about her getting at it. Okay. feel. Getting a nice little breeze in there? Yeah, I bet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just by um, taking a little look around. Oh, wow. This is really cool in here. Here's what I'm thinking. There's a lot going on in there, and I think I know you well enough to know that if you could, there are maybe some things you might change about your brain or how it works. Um, but, gosh, over these last few book club meetings, I've just gotten to know you so well, and I am just such a big fan of your brain and how it works. I think that you are so intelligent and interesting. I love your sense of humor. Um, 
my concern is that if I like remove anything permanently or if I alter anything, I'm just afraid that that might in turn impact how other parts of your brain work and I just, I just like you so much just the way you are. Um, so I mean, that's not like totally off the table, some like actual alterations, maybe someday, but for today, uh, maybe we can just kind of give your brain a little bit of a bath. Yeah, a bath. So I'll take this spare mug, I'm gonna put a little warm water in it, and then I can just bit by bit maybe remove some pieces of your brain, um, put them in the mug to soak so that they can be sort of refreshed and clean, um, bring a little, I don't know, a little more oomph to those, to those little brain chunks, yeah? Yeah, so I'll, I'll let them soak for a little while. Uh, at the end of the session, I'll go ahead and put them all back in, uh, screw the lid back on, and, and yeah, I think I, that's really all I'd like to do. Is that okay? Okay. Perfect. So, um, let me think here. Ooh. I have that and... Oh my gosh, that's really hot, but it's good. Just like me. <laughs> okay. Um, so I... I'm going to grab some warm water that I have. I'm gonna add it to the mug. Um, I have some gloves. I thought that might be a good idea. So I'm gonna put the gloves on and I'm just gonna get right in there. Okay? Cool. All right, you're such a good friend. So let's see. We got, here we go. I think that's about the right amount. I don't want to fill it up too much because then I don't want to, you know, with displacement and I'm not actually sure how much. We'll figure it out. We'll wing it. It's cool. So let me go ahead and get these gloves on. I'm actually going to go ahead and open it right up to page where I want to be. Where do I want to be? Oh my gosh. I'm so sad you didn't read this. There's this whole thing about um, sort of action potentials and the way that a uh, message... Maybe you can read it next month. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Let's start, I took notes, <laughs> let's start here, um, let's just go ahead and dive right in with the uh, frontal lobe, so that's right in here, and uh, I'm gonna start kind of on the outside and work my way in, if I can just reach right in there, and there we go. Oh. Hmm. So, yeah. So I think I'm just gonna kind of pluck out a couple little pieces, um, drop in the bath, and then we'll move on to the next thing. So I'm gonna 
so much cool stuff going on in the frontal lobe. Let's see, I've got my notes here. We've got um, motor control, problem solving, uh, speech production. It's in the focus area. Yeah, so speech production specifically. Uh, there are actually different parts of the brain. One part is for speech production, you know, talking, and then there's a whole other part that's for recognizing speech. I thought that was really interesting how there are all these things that we think of as sort of like going together, like understanding and communicating in language that are actually um, sort of operated or run by completely different parts of the brain. Very cool. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna get this and this piece right here. Okay. Yeah. Let's start. Whoop. Splash minute was um I'm sure that's I'm sure that's fine. Let's see. What do I want next? Let's get my absolute favorite part of the brain is the um, ventromedial prefrontal cortex right in here. It's, uh, here, I'm gonna get right in there. So this is actually the part of the brain where uh, I believe the sense of self is mostly located. I'm doing some extra credit work because <laughs> I finished the book early. And I was reading this really interesting article help people with brain injuries, which is awful, of course, but it's also interesting to see how people with brain injuries in specific areas that can help us to learn, um, like, what those parts of the brain do. Like, with people who have damage to the ventromedial prefrontal cortex, they can kind of not have a really strong sense of self. I believe that is also the part of the brain that is partially affected by, um, like, psychedelic experiences and stuff like that. I don't know. I read so many different articles at this point on top of the book, I don't want to mix it all up, but... Okay, let's get this. And this. Okay, and... Go. All right. How about the, um, let's see, we got the temporal lobes, parietal lobe, occipital lobe. I think I'm probably going to leave the brain stem and cerebellum alone, uh, but let's just go ahead and, okay, let's do the uh, temporal lobes next. I'm going to start on the left side, if I can just right in here. Temporal lobe. There's lots of stuff. Auditory processing. Language comprehension. Yeah. Yeah, there are actually some people who, because of, you know, just different stuff going on with their brain, there are actually some people who can they can understand language, uh, but they can't speak it. So they might be able to understand what you're saying to them, but they can't communicate back with you. I thought that was really interesting. And that's... something I think they've actually found with some autistic people, sometimes like with kids, if they can't speak, uh, communicate in verbal language, people tend to assume that that person also can't understand verbal language, but that is sometimes not the case. Let's see. Oh, 
gummy bears. Just need a snack. Mm. Do you want one? I have like a whole bowl of them right here. No, no, it's probably better if you're not chewing right now anyway. Mm. Let's see. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and get this side. An interesting looking piece right there. And right here. Oh. This one's kind of shaped like an MTV logo. Do you want to see? No, you know, it's probably better if you don't look at it. Cool though. Alright. Um. You know what? I think. That. I think that I'm going to have a much better angle if I go ahead and do this from the side. Is that okay? All right, just getting in the temporal lobe on this side. And let's check out this side as well. Awesome. Okay, maybe one more piece here. And over here. Alright, so... Sorry, I keep splashing myself. How are we doing on time? Good. We're doing just fine. So, let's see. Let me check my notes. What else did I want to do here? Hmm. I think... Yeah. I think I might want to do a repeat of the same areas. Go back in with the frontal lobe, maybe a little more from each of the temporal lobes. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna go right back in to that frontal lobe. I'm sorry, I don't mean to talk about it like that. You are, you are so much more than just a, a frontal lobe to me. Um, I'm just really enchanted by what you've got going on here, and if I can... Alright, um... Oh, well, yeah, let's get this piece right here, and right here. Cool. Such a nice little bath in here. Okay, what else? Hmm. Let's get one more piece each from each of the temporal lobes and then we'll figure it out from there. So I'm gonna get right in here. How you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna get right in here and pull that. Cool. And then I know I definitely wanted to get into that occipital lobe for sure, but 
Let me check something in my book real quick. Got all these notes. So sorry. Um, it's fine. I think that's fine. It's just um, oh, this is right here in the notes. That's that 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 is a thing that we can pretend did not happen. So let's go ahead and um, and you know what? There is where's the section that has the. Um, there's something I want to do in the temporal lobe real quick. Okay. And good. Okay. Yeah. No, that I think I just there was just a little memory there that I wanted to. What is that, by the way? What is that thing over there? Okay. So. Hmm. Hmm. Just another gummy bear. Um. I think I'm gonna sneak around back real quick. Uh, I'm gonna just pluck a few things out of the occipital lobe there. Have you been looking forward to that? I know I have. And then, um, and then I'll put everything back after that's had a minute to soak and, and we'll, we'll wrap things up. was on my wish list for the occipital lobe. Oh yeah, this part right here. Alright. I know I definitely want this piece right here. And this piece too. Okay, how about this one? See if I can get in real carefully and grab this piece here. Okay, good. And how about? Yeah, I wanted this one for sure. Okay, and this piece. Good. Okay, so. was super fun. Thank you. Um, what I'd like to do next, I'd like to go ahead and um, drain the water out of this mug. I'll go ahead and just pop little pieces back in there. Um, let me... You know what? I am gonna make sure that I have a strainer before I drain. I don't want to lose anything down the sink. Um, so I'll be right back. Hang in there. All right, nice and easy here. Get back here. There we go. All right. Well, thank you so much for waiting. I've got all of your freshly bathed little brain bits in here, and they look so good. Do you want to see? Oh, you, you probably shouldn't look at them, but just trust me, they look just fresh and sparkling and absolutely fantastic.
just like you, my friend. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and carefully place them back exactly where I found each of them, because once again, I just, I like you so much, just the way you are, and I want to make sure I don't, you know, mess anything up in there, okay? So, just hang in there, and I'm going to, maybe I should have taken notes. Nah, it's alright, I think I got it, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of rapid fire here, just, okay, and, does that feel okay? Yeah. I think this one goes um right here. Let me get around the side here. Okay, so we got one here and here. Over here, one here, and what else? Oh, this is definitely one of my favorite parts of your brain right here. I want to make sure I get that one in nice and... Oh, come here, little buddy. I'm just going to tuck you in right here. Okay. Okay, and one more. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on, okay? So hold still. Just going to make sure I line it up here. There we go. super fun for me. How was it for you? You know, I, I'd honestly be down to do this anytime with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, what do you say we, uh, just go ahead and wrap up this meeting of the book club and we can talk about what we want to do next month. I don't know if I can read that book, and you can read this book, and maybe you can probably, I don't know if I'd be comfortable, but it's, um, but thank you so much. I really treasure our time together, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to really get in there and poke around in that brain of yours, so thank you, and I am so looking forward to the next time we hang out.